Let's talk about Alan. So, for those of the, for, for those listeners who don't know where he came from, can you give us a brief history of this guy, please? Well, yes, I suppose I have to, really, because I'm, I'm on Radio 1, uh, your listenership's quite young, and a lot of you, I'm sure, are probably thinking, who's this guy? Um, I've never heard of him. Um, but for those of you who haven't, um, well, Alan sort of goes way back. In, in, in the fiction that we created for Alan, uh, he was uh, a, a radio presenter who, who went on, started out in hospice radio, um, but uh, got told off for, for, for uh, uh, playing a diet of upbeat music. I don't know. Um, but uh, then he went on to uh, do Knowing Me, Knowing You on, on BBC, which was a real show, but with him as a fictitious character. And then we did The Day to Day, and we did the I Am Alan Partridge sitcom. But in, in the history of Alan, the idea is that he's this... Um, I feel, like, I feel like I'm a job interviewer. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's sort of like this... this Well, this um, for you youngsters out there... Does anyone... I don't know if you young people listen to Radio 1 have ever been called a youngster recently. <laughs> um, I, I do it every day. <laughs> I go, good afternoon, youngsters. Good afternoon, youngsters. Um, well... Uh, yeah, he's he's just sort of he's like your uncool uncle. Uh, similarly, he's like your uncool uncle dancing at a wedding. You know, just there's nothing you can do about it. Really, it's just one of those facts. One of those people you have to encounter now and again. And the, the idea is that he was on television, but of course he became unfashionable and was cast aside. Um, not least because he wasn't very good at it. And then and has ended up in uh, regional radio, where he's quite happy now as a, as a as a person. And um, and and when we and in the film, that's where we that's where we join him in his his, his sort of comfortable. He's a, a a big fish in a small pond, and he's happy there. He's kind of happy. Yeah. He's sort of given up trying to compete with the uh, the young things, the young Turks. There was a recent interview I read. I think it might it may have been with Peter Bainham or one of the other writers mm -hmm. about it, and they said that when sometimes when you get shouted at in the street, you get shouted partridge quotes to you, and you sometimes don't recognise them. Now uh, that the mm. point might be that. Everyone else knows this character possibly better than you do. Is uh, that true? Yes, that, that that is true because, of course, I, I I sort of go with whatever I'm instinctively feeling as as Alan when we're writing it. Yeah. You know, uh, um, Rob and Neil Gibbons, who are quite young actually, um, they they've actually helped refresh keep the character very fresh um, and give it a sort of a new energy um, that I like sometimes. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, yes, it, it's. Um, uh, what was it? What was the question? Again? Well, the, the, it's kind of it's kind of odd that maybe you you aren't. Oh yes, you I don't know, know him as well as well as other well, people do. Well, no, that's that's I, that is actually true. So I sort of go with whatever I'm, I'm I'm feeling on the day if I'm writing, but I don't go back and trawl through the archives um, uh, to make sure I'm sort of t entirely consistent. But but the guys who um, you know write it, they they make sure I sort of keep it uh, relevant and fresh, and they they check with all the quotes. But I I, I know I can quote Monty Python from my childhood. <laughs> Far more than I know my own stuff, and it is true. People occasionally come up and, and will quote a line of poetry to me, which I can't quite remember w what it's from. Although they might have listened to something the day before, and I've I've not listened to the radio shows for 20, 20 years. I mean, um, it would be weird if I did. I think you know, unless, I don't, <laughs> yeah. I mean, unless I caught it accidentally on the radio. So they'll they'll quote a line to me, and I'll say what they say. You know, that line you said to that guy, and it's something I said twenty years ago. So. I forgot, I've forgotten. <laughs> so I have to say, I'm sorry. I don't know what, and they, what do you mean? You, you said it the other day you know, <laughs> on the radio. And I, heard, I said, no, I didn't. I said it 22 years ago. 